Welcome to this overview session on e-learning courses. Pensive Consultants and Training Division has developed these four e-learning courses on energy efficiency, namely general aspects of energy management, energy audit, energy efficiency in thermal utilities. We call it as a thermal energy auditing course. And energy efficiency in electrical utilities, it is also called electrical energy auditing course. The fourth one is energy performance assessment for equipment and utilities. So this is dealing with the, the benchmarking performance assessment in the field of a major uh, energy consuming equipments, uh, significant uh, energy users, equipments, and energy intensive in this industries. We will see more details about this course, energy performance assessment course. This course is very useful for aspiring energy auditors, energy managers, and uh, all electrical, mechanical, chemical engineers, and green building energy auditors also faculty and students. And uh, practicing engineers working in industries and commercial building is uh, applicable. And uh, the candidates from anywhere in the countries, any countries can register this course for their benefit. So now, if you look at the learning objectives, uh, there are a key, there are four key important learning objectives are there by doing this uh, course. Yeah, candidates registered or undergoing this completion of this course, you'll be able to understand various thermal, electrical, energy use equipments and their performance indicators. For example, in a refrigeration system, KWH per ton of uh, uh, product, okay? and also specific energy consumption and uh, efficiency, etc. To assess the performance of equipments and uh, like boilers, furnaces, CVHP systems, fans, pumps, etc., it is very useful. Also, he'll be able to assess the performance of the large energy intense industries like power plants, steel, cement, etc., in the field. And also compare with the benchmarking indicators, national and international level benchmarking figures, and in order to identify the improvements in their uh, plant. So it is also very really useful uh, to those who are writing the examination, appearing the energy proficiency examinations like the certified energy auditors, energy managers course. It will be very helpful for passing or qualifying the first data. So now, friends, let us look into the uh, content. That is the course content and curriculum. What are all the chapters of the subjects of that? Uh, in this course, there are 15 chapters are there. These 15 chapters are classified into three sections. The first section is a thermal area, thermal utility system like boiler, furnaces, for generation system, heat exchangers. The next segment is the electromechanical systems, electrical motors, VFDs, fans and blowers, pumps, air compressors, compressor system, and HVAC systems finance and analysis for the project implementation. The third section includes thermal power plant and steel industry, cement industry, building, commercial buildings, and textile industries. And the same concept can be used for any other industries. So this is a three section we will see in details, what are all the equipments and covered. So in a boiler, you have all type of boilers, power plant boilers or a package boiler, industrial boiler. What is the efficiency, evaporation ratio, and identify the indirect method. You want to follow certain tests like ISO standards, international standards, uh, the testing standards you want to follow. So similarly, cogeneration system, heat exchangers are covered in this first section. The second section, so all the mechanical devices like pumps, fan, compressors, cooling tower system, BD sets are covered to assess the performance, efficiency, etc. In case of uh, uh, DG set, what is the KWH per uh, liter of uh, fuel oil used in this? And what is the comparison with the standards and the energy efficient DG sets? So it'll be very useful to find out the baseline consumption of the uh, present system and what is the scope for improvement in each and every areas. Similarly, in the industrial sector also, let us take a power plant. Power plant, the performance indicators, one is this efficiency of the power plant and the heat rate. So what is the baseline information and what is the gap? 
So for that, like that, for all this, so the five industries, five areas are being covered in this uh, course. So once if we cover all these subjects, is you can do energy comprehensive energy audit in any kind of industries, small or big, kind of energy intensive industries. So you'll become a master and the expert in this area. So, so dear friends, now let us look into the uh, platform that is e-learning platform. How it will be very easy to you learn once it's registered. A step by step approach, how it will be uh, useful, user friendly features. What are the highlights of the course? Let us see. If you look at this uh, course, there are uh, 15 chapters. Each chapter, there is one uh, PPT, lectures, videos has been uh, organized sequentially. And every chapter, you have also self evaluation, course, multiple choice questions. After undergoing the video training program, you should attempt the course for self-evaluation, similarly for industrial sector also. So for each chapter, there are six step procedures there for self-learning approaches. What are the six steps? So each chapter you have to learn the learning objectives very clearly, what is the purpose, interactions, and, uh, and videos, presentations, it contains a lot of uh, animation, practical case studies, etc. Then you have a self-evaluation interactive quiz, then you have also discussion forum for any doubt clearing. And finally, you have a course completion assessment. But in this uh, chapter, in this course, numerical problems uh, has been given a focus because that's where you have to do more focus and uh, get benefit out of this. So the finally, also you can download section, you can download your reading material for a future and for the references. So dear friends, now link it with the uh, actually how the platform, the e-learning platform will be there. Once you register this course, you will be allocated or provided a dashboard. This is your own dashboard. So your uh, progress will be monitored yourself also and the course instructor also. So these are the three courses are registered in this candidate. If you go, go to the one section or one courses, it will take you to the complete chapters videos list. If you look at this left hand side, chapter one, and uh, immediately you have a part one, part two videos, and uh, chapter two, furnaces, for generation, like that. Each chapter has been sequentially arranged, and uh, one by one you can uh, click and uh, you can uh, uh, learn. So, this is the main section or the main pages. Most of the time you will be spending on these pages and what, how much percentage you have completed, what are the discussion forum, and uh, also interactive quiz section will be there. For example, how it looks like say, interactive to self evaluation Suppose there is a multiple choice question and uh, there are four choices. If you are, if you are uh, doing it wrongly, and it will also displace, this is the wrong answer, this is the right answer. So immediately you know what is right, what is uh, not right, and you will get also answer for a quick learning and better understanding. Like that, there are uh, each chapter some 10 questions. There are about uh, 100 questions are there. It will take you to the uh, good uh, learning uh, area. Then you also have a discussion forum, how to calculate EMD. Like that, you can ask it and people will reply for in futures. Then you also have a download section. You can download your video material for features of preferences. So first, let us see the overall highlights of this course. Once if you register, immediately you can start learning because immediately your dashboard is created and then all the courses, videos are available to you. And it, it is available for 24 bar seven hours. You can learn from any time, anywhere, any locations. So to complete this course, it will take you at least 12 hours you have to spend uh, bit by bit, like uh, half an hour, one hour, like that. Whenever you find time, you can uh, uh, complete one of small chapters. So you can uh, repeat any number of times and the e certificate will be given uh, for course completions. So friends, so who will uh, register the course? Uh, to whom it is highly suitable? So it is classified into three categories. The first category is all practicing engineers and managers from all commercial or industries who wish to appear for any examination throughout the world. And it is uh, very helpful to understand the concept and uh, solve the problem in the examinations. 
so to help you to the passing the examination. So also the practicing engineers who want to reduce the energy bill or carbon footprint, he can do energy audit himself uh, by learning this, by acquiring the you know, knowledge and practical tips and practical knowledge and best practices. So the third category is the faculty and students from educational institutions. So they can also do it, this course for their updation and better employment opportunities. So dear friends, this course is to teach you everything you need to know uh, a comprehensive energy auditing work, right? So finally, the major benefits are there. For aspiring energy auditors, energy manager, it will help you to qualify the any examination. And for consultants, it will increase the, enhance your consultancy uh, skill and consultancy job. For the practicing engineers, uh, that you will be able to reduce the energy bill and also carbon footprint and GHG emission reduction, etc. possible. Finally, you are helping or you are contributing to the sustainable development and climatic change mitigations solutions. So, dear friends, thank you very much. And if you have any queries and information, please contact us and email us on mcelconsultants.gmail.com. Thank you very much.